Thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. So what I have here is a JBL GTO 1201.1. This is a class D amplifier. So when it first came in, I did my initial testing on it, um, which I do on all the boards that come in, just to see what parts I need, if I have them on hand, if I gotta get them ordered up. But what I did is I found that uh, I had a shorted 640N on the output here. And this is those, classic boards where they use the 640Ns and the 9640s. So you'll find more 9640s than you will 640s for the end channel transistors here. Uh, so there was one shorted one here and I'm just going to verify that I don't have any more shorted transistors on this board. I do have power hooked up 24K, 8.5K, 10K, 24K, 10K, 8.4, 8 8.5, 8 9. So it looks like this board is okay to go ahead and start up. I'm not showing any shorts on the output transistors. Um, I didn't find any shorts on the power supply transistors. 1K, 1K. So everything's looking good to power this up. On these boards that use the 640 and 9640s, um, I'm real cautious when I first fire them up. I pay attention to the LEDs, I pay attention to the scope, which you guys don't have on the screen. Let me get this scope fired up here for you guys. Alright, so you guys should have the scope there in your upper left hand corner. And with these output cards, uh, this is like the I think it's the Orion boards that uses that self oscillating board to drive these. So it should oscillate without an input signal, if I remember right. But for now, I'm just going to just bump the power supply and see what is going on here. I do get a blue LED. Let me check my rectifiers here to see if we have any voltage that is building, and we are. So I'm just gonna pulse the remote, and we are going to uh, build up some rail voltage here. So this amp is going to take quite a bit of current to start up. And I don't see any quick drops in the rail voltage. So that's telling me I don't have a short anywhere in the output. But the output hasn't started switching yet. So what I'll do is Pulse the power supply. And the relay engages, the blue light stays on, and I get full rail voltage still here. Looking good. I don't see any smoke rising from the board. Do we have switching? Let's see. Do we have switching? And we sure do. We have switching on the low side. Let me uh, reach right in here and check the other side. Switching on the low side. Do we have switching on the high side? Then we do have switching. So let me uh, clear up these signals here for you. So there's your 
your high side switching and here is your low side switching let me get my trace and there's your low side so we do have switching so I'm just gonna check and make sure I don't have any ex excess heat that's building up and I don't so really this amp just had a single shorted 640N on this channel here. Uh, the drive card survived. The oscillating card is alive and well. And that's how it should perform, is you should have your low side switching, your high side switching, without an input signal for this card. Let me see if I have a sheet here for you guys to give you an idea of how this card is set up. So, the card that drives this amplifier uses an LM uh, 361 and it uses the uh, the MC 14060B uh, with the TL 074C so you have a TL 074C over on the end here next to your uh, potentiometer uh, for your DC offset and then you're going to have your 14060 IC in the middle and then your LM361 on the end here which will drive each card so one card drives one bank and the other card drives the other bank so what I'll do is I will replace this bank of 640N's here and uh, we'll get this amplifier back on the road So, I'll be right back with you. Alright, I'm back with this JBL board. I've got four new 640Ns put in. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and verify that our drives here. So, the low side drive. We do have our low side drive. Let me move my trace. And we will check the high side drive. Or the... And there's our high side drive there for you and on both banks low side drive and high side drive so this JBL board here is complete ready to roll once again and we will get it all back on the road if you like repair content of amplifier boards class A, B, class D uh, all makes and models uh, please stay tuned like and subscribe I will be back with more Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.